Good morning and welcome to It Is Very Fall Like Winnipeg. Yeah, it's cooler this morning. 12.2. No. I have been up here at the model table for about an hour, maybe more. Having fun. Actually, I was. Uh, I got the pipes glued in place. I got the little red tap glued down. Uh, I mean, fingers crossed, not okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, we are going to be moving on today and we're going to be putting some of these little parts down. Uh, now, oh, Jeff, I remembered. <laughs> yeah, I got the Bismarck shirt on. Uh, okay. I wanted to be able to use our rollback cup. So, uh, when, when I was working here at the model table, I think I shot two or three scenes while I was gluing the pipes down and putting the tap back on. So I wanted to be able to honestly be able to roll back. Uh, now we're not rolling back to yesterday. <laughs> like we usually do, like so sometimes I'll, I'll work in the evening and then I'll do the evenings, the uh, post it the next day in the rollback. I used to do that a lot, if you remember. In fact, that's, that's why Jeff made this special cup for me, which you are going to see in a second or two. Okay, yeah, let's, let's get on with this and, and, and uh, then we'll have our rollback and then, then we can move on. So, uh, let's roll back. <laughs> You know what, maybe I should wait a few minutes here and let the, let this dry a bit. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use my heat gun and, because I don't have all day to do this. Actually, actually I do have all day to do this. Okay, <clears throat> it's probably still a little bit soft, but it's not going to fall out of there if I, if I accidentally bump it. According to the manual, this one is supposed to basically go on top of the other pipe and and the ends of these pipes, they go to nowhere. They just, I suppose what we could do is I could look at that uh, 360 degree uh, photo that uh, Brett sent and we might be able to see those pipes. Now, I basically got it. That's sort of the way it's supposed to go. Um, I, th I think once I get, get some glue on there, okay, and, and I realize my, my finger's in your way, but when I have this, this part, this motor block, angled so that you can see it really good, then I can't see it good. And I think that's one of the reasons why I was having so much trouble yesterday. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit in right, right there. If I just get it there, I've almost got it. Okay. Let's let it wick its way along here. Try, try and get it so that it it goes onto the it's, it's going to 
stick itself uh, onto the uh, onto the engine block as well. Now, now I don't want this to fall off, but I'd like to just push it in just a little bit here. Maybe I could use this this part of the tweezer just just a little bit. Uh, it's about as good as I can get it. Um, th this is going to be very delicate because if I if I catch this part here on something, it's going to pull it off. Okay, now let's see if I can get our little wheel glued back on there, our little tap. Well, this dries. This is not quite the way I want it. That's some better, but now I've got a fingerprint on the glue, don't I? Um, well, I can see it from my, my perspective. Uh, yeah, I think once that dries, it'll be... It isn't, like I say, it's, it's not going to fall off, that's for sure. Okay, now the plan is to take a little bit of this uh, extra thick CA and put it on the end there. And if that doesn't, if that's not going to work, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to break this piece out and re-glue it back in. But I'm hoping I don't have to do that. Let's uh, recompose a little bit here. Now it's not quite straight. Now here's where I usually really mess it up. I try to straighten it out so that it's going to be Let me check the monitor. Okay, let's quit while we're ahead here. Oh, and, and just for perspective, okay, here's for perspective. Okay, I think if I'm very, very careful here now while I'm putting some of these other parts on, we should do okay. Uh, if we're moving from left to right in the manual, uh, we've got these pieces to put on and they're all ready to go over here. Now speaking of manual, uh, yesterday evening I finished uh, re-digitizing uh, every page in the manual so if anybody wants, if anybody wants this manual just, just send me an email and I should be able to I should be able to send it to you if you, if you want it. If, if you know, if, if, you, if you sort of are going to use it for anything. I don't know why, unless you had this kit. And if you had this kit, you probably got the real thing. But um, anyway, uh, maybe saying I'll send it to you is not a good idea, but we could <laughs> see how it goes. If it, if it gets to, too overwhelming, then uh, we, we just won't do it anymore. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, let's move on here. Okay, 
Uh, I'm noticing here that when I was just checking to make sure we got every, all the pipes on, like these four four pipes are now in place, but then we've got this this little uh, wheel here, and it it has to be mounted on the side of the engine. I wonder if maybe we should do that next. And uh, these pieces here, the the V the V forty and the V thirty nine. If you will recall that there was a very very slight difference. And and right now I've got them all mixed up. I don't know which is which, but I do I do know what to look for to to, to get them right. So I should I should do that too. And uh, so let me move in a little bit here. Okay. Now this piece is is this okay? So we got that made. And this piece here is is these things right here. So we got those made. So all I have to do now is separate the 39s and the 40s. Maybe maybe we should uh, put this wheel on. Yeah, let, let's just get this wheel in place here. Um, I don't know what is going to be the most easily broken off, this wheel or these parts that I'm going to be putting on, on the tops of the cylinders here. Um, Okay, let's let's yeah, let's put this wheel on. I think we'll let gravity be our friend here. Turn this on its side a little bit. Okay. Now you notice right here on the engine there's a little flat place. Well that is where this thing is supposed to mount something like like this now I, I think that if I get some C CA thin on here and uh, see how, how can I best hold on to this I, I better do a, dry, a, a successful dry run here I wonder can I, if I hold it like this, can I get it to go down into the right place? Is that supposed to be a that shaft? I think is supposed to be above. Maybe I should check the painting and marking guide where they have the. Yeah, speaking of painting and marking guide, I'll be digitizing that next. It's got to be a way to hold on to this thing. Yeah, I think that shaft is supposed to go above that part that's protruding out of the engine. It's supposed to go like this. Okay, that should work. Although, it might be better if I was to do it the way I originally had. I'll put a little bit of force on it here. Yeah, that's going to be the way to hold it. Okay. Wonder should we uh, put the macro lens on and get in nice and close? Let me check the monitor. Yeah, we'll get we'll get in nice and close, and that way you can you can see it being done. I, I got a kick out of using the macro lens, so let's do it. Okay, now I think I should just moisten this part here that I'm going to be, as well as, just let that have a chance to uh, soften the plastic and paint and everything. Now I know I'm putting, you know, trying to glue paint together, but I think that Maybe I should have scraped the the side of that there. This looks like there's red paint on it. 
but I, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference because it, it's all going to meld together. Okay, now using the holder downer here. finger on it because I can put a little pressure on it and sort of smoosh it around. Okay, just check the monitor now. Does that look like it's maybe it should go up just a little? Okay, I, actually that, that looks pretty good to me from my perspective. I think I think we pretty much got it. I think once once that dries, it's going to be fairly strong. Not as strong as if it was plastic to plastic, but it'll be pretty strong. the leash off, Missy. <laughs> wait, 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 A little cooler this morning. A little bit, yeah. <clears throat> are you ready? Yes, we are ready. <laughs> <laughs> was that was that to say thank you? Hmm? That, that's how we say thank you. Do that or another one quick. <laughs> yeah, hurry up. I can only wag my tail so fast. You know, Missy, one of the viewers sent some money for me to buy something nice for you. Yeah. What would you like? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're gone. I want to go explore. <laughs> I can give you uh, the brand name of what she loves. <clears throat> Let's see. Amazon. Oh my goodness! You got a you got a real itch going on there, don't you? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen her scratch so long. Either she gives gives uh, her ear a quick scratch and then... <laughs> she likes... Uh, okay, come on. Venison bits. Venison bits. But I'm trying to find the, the brand here. It's not popping up for me the way it usually does. Oh, you can let me know later. We yeah. gotta to go to the pet store and pick some up, or maybe Amazon sells it too. Yeah, that's where I buy it. I'm looking at Amazon's. Missy House. Thanks, Rod. Okay. Nice day. Miss 
Missy the dog. Missy the dog. Okay. Now, before Missy cam, I got everything everything all separated here. I got my V40s and my V39s sorted out. I was looking at their block here and uh, uh, where are these ones, I guess? And uh, I think I've got to figure it out where everything is supposed to go. Um, it's it's really hard sometimes. Let me let me move you in a bit here. Well, that didn't work, did it? Okay. It's uh, really hard sometimes to follow these lines down because they kind of overlap each other and you kind of have a tendency to lose them. But uh, I think I've got it basically figured out here. Okay, before we close her down for today, let's see if we can place one of these rocker arms. According to the manual, the V39 goes on the left side. Now you'll notice that where I'm touching with the little blue thing there, there's a little square hole there. And it's I believe it's supposed to go something like this. Maybe I should be uh Recomposing here a little bit. I want to be careful I don't accidentally break off any of my taps. Maybe this is the sort of thing I should be doing when I'm nice and fresh first thing in the morning. And maybe I should have the macro lens on too because I got, let me check the monitor here. Yeah, the angle is all wrong. The angle is all wrong. You can't, you can't see it. Okay, um, I'm going to call her quits for today, folks. Uh, right now it is 14 minutes after 1. And the sun is shining. And my thermometer says 27 Celsius, but it can't be that warm. Even if it was 22, it'd be nice. So I want to get out. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, <laughs> we're going to see you tomorrow.